What up, YouTube? All right, so check it out. I thought I have an iPad 2 here. It's a 3G model. I updated this to iOS 5, which you can see here. Now I heard that once I updated, because it was a 3G model, that you're stuck. That you are stuck in the. Uh, once you do it, you're stuck on iOS 5. You can't downgrade the iPad to 3G. So this morning, a friend of mine, Pat, on IPTT tells me he has the same iPad that he got it to work. So I figured, let's try it together. So just to show you guys. Click off here, we'll go to about, sorry for the shitty stuff here, but uh, let's see here. So you can see iOS 5.0, right? So I got my iTunes here. I'm going to restore. Now, what I think it's going to happen is it's going to restore to 4.3.3. Now, what he told me he did was he put it in DFU mode and he just restored it. He didn't point it to any firmware. So I'm going to give this a whirl here. I'm going to set my phone down here real quick, and uh, actually, I'll just do this. I'm going to put it, turn it off. It's plugged in. Okay, now we're going to go DFU mode, so I'm going to hold. Um, sit, sorry. I'm going to hold my phone, or uh, put it in DFU mode, hold the power for 3 seconds, home and power for 10 seconds, and then the home button alone for 15. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine. There we go. So that's how you know you're in uh, proper DFU mode. It, iTunes will give you a, a warning. So I'm just going to click restore here. Like he told me to restore. Restore and update. So let's see. Okay. Contains iOS crowdsource location database cache including Products compatible with this update, iPad 2. Click Next. Click Agree. And we're off and running. So while it's downloading this update, I'll uh, edit this video down and we'll come back as soon as this is done. Okay. Uh, I just got back from downloading, so now it says restoring iPad software, and it is currently working. There it goes. Every video I got has a couple of features. One is kids screaming in the background because my kids never, ever, ever stop screaming. They scream for no reason. They scream when they're hungry. They scream when they're tired. They scream when they're happy. So, sorry. And uh, I guess I'll pause it here and we'll come back when this is done. All right, so we just came back, just did a full restore. Um, I saw my iPad click on. So we'll give it a minute here. What's it say? Been restored to factory settings. So I'll click the button here. So what it should do is activate it now. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. I see all the new stand and everything's gone. So let me um, hit about. And there we go. Yeah, hopefully, you guys can see that. 
So I guess, uh, you know, I don't know if this is a big deal or not, but uh, a lot of the rumors I've been hearing has been around that once you upgrade to beta iOS 5, you cannot um, go backwards. So kind of, uh, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I got to say, I, I'm surprised that uh, I've heard that so often. Now, I will say this. I know that when Apple quits signing 4.3.3, you won't be able to downgrade without um, the help of an exploit or a tiny umbrella. Because um, once Apple quits signing 4.3.3 for iPad 2, iPhone 4, those type of things, then when you try to downgrade, um, if you don't have your SHSH blob saved and the aid of Tiny Umbrella, you won't be able to go backwards. But that's kind of that's kind of the trade-off, um, and that's kind of the danger. You know, that's what I was worried about with iPad too, because there's no jailbreak yet. So, anyways, uh, I hope this uh, video helps you guys out. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of videos on Twitter, or I mean, on uh, YouTube, people saying that this is impossible to go backwards. So pretty easy. You just plug it in, hit restore, don't point the firmware, don't do anything goofy. Put your device in DFU mode and hit restore and update. It'll do a update and restore and back it goes. So pretty seamless, no problems, no errors, no nothing. So anyways, guys, rate, comment, subscribe to my channel. Check me out on IPTT.com or IPTT, the app in the app store, channel 4.9. Uh, check me out on Twitter. L-I-T-E-S-P-D-69. And uh, currently, uh, just a little uh, update, the uh, Beta 2 iOS 5 is out. They've changed a few things, but pretty much it's the same. It seems a little more stable than it was. So um, hit me up if uh, you're interested in, uh, you know, testing out some stuff on uh, the uh, Beta iOS 5 or Beta 2 iOS 5. So anyways, guys, thanks again. Um, leave your comments below. I will get back to you and peace.